Alright guys, so this is the three-piece bumper from Yofer. Shout out to Custom Tuning. Um, so one, two, and then three. So in this kit, you're going to get um, the eyebrows that are going to fit up here. I'll show you guys later that. And then we get the two fog lights, one for each side. And this is actually two pieces for the middle piece. And then we have the air ducts, of course. And then those are the uh, headlight brackets. And I'll show you guys how to do that. So in the Yofer box, you're gonna get um, the manual, Yofer sticker, and then all the hardware that you need. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take this middle piece and it's going to, and then we're going to connect it to, to one. So we're going to bring this up and then connect that there, connect that there. And then when you look on here, you can see that there's a hole and there's a piece that sticks out. So that's what's going to go into here, right there. So this is what I'm talking about. So this part sticks out to this hole and this hole just lines up with the other hole. The same thing goes for this side. Alright, so again, this side is done. So now we're gonna do that side. So, two screws on the bottom, two screws on the bottom, and it's lined up with those clips on top so we can actually secure on both sides. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put one screw in this hole and then the other screw right here. Okay, so for to take off the bumper, we have to take off these three clips. This one, this one, these, and these clips. We gotta take this whole plate off, and then they just held up by clips. Um, I took this piece out. And after you take this piece out, there's actually a few more that you have to take out. So these two have been taken out, and then on that side as well. So now we're gonna start the car and turn the wheel so then we can access uh, the screws that are in the fender. Okay, so I've taken that screw out, that clip, that one, and that one. So now we gotta do it to the other side and we're ready to take the bumper off. We gotta disconnect the fog lights right there. So now we're gonna take off the fog lights. And one thing you should know is that if you have these eyebrows, you gotta take them off because we gotta take off the front trim. And if you have that in there, then it's blocking it. So we gotta rip these off. And then on the back side, there are two screws. And then after you take that trim piece off, there's one more screw on the outside that you gotta unscrew. So there's three screws in total. Um, and when, after you take those two screws off, um, you gotta have to take this harness off too. And then after you take that harness off, unclip that this whole harness comes out you can unscrew the air duct again so you can get more access to the whole thing and what you're gonna do is you're going to you unclip it and then you're going to push out or go on the outside and pry it
um, you see this screw right here this is the screw that you unbolt and this whole thing should come right out see how this on the inside you actually have to lift this out and then there it is and then So these clips, we actually have to reuse onto the new bumper. Okay, now we can put this, put this in. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna push this in, let that little hook grab on to the inside. Right here, it's gonna come through here, go into there, and then on the outside, we're gonna bolt it down. drilled so you would have to just force it in there um, but make sure it's straight so the fog lights are in from both sides we're going to align all the clips and then on the back um, we're actually going to be securing them securing that piece uh, with two screws okay so I was wrong we can't put this on first we have to take put this on after we do the fog lights only reason why I did the fog lights after I did this was because I didn't take a, take off the bumper yet. So now I'm gonna take this back off so then we can clip this piece on and then we're going to reinstall this part. So first, what you wanna do is remember you want to do this part last. You wanna put the air duct in last because it's going to block these two clips and up here on this specific one um there's a little notch which i can show you on this side so there's a little notch like so so you want to make sure that that gets pushed in all the way and another thing on these on these right here you, you see a little groove right see a, a little groove so those need to go all the way in okay so that I pushed all the way in. These two are in. Uh, you can't see the ones down there, however. Um, that's pushed all the way in. That's in, that's in. Um, I do need to do some trimming, especially um, this one right here. Uh, this one, there's a small little piece right there that, co that comes out. So because this piece was so fat, I had to do some trimming. right here so this is the back side so this one you see that little notch right there we're gonna have to trim that so I trimmed it now it's gone so these clips um, that one that I told you to trim and these you have to trim it as well these all these all have to be pushed in you can't see the ones on the bottom except for the one like right down here you can see that one but uh this on this in particular these this one was on uh on the fog light bracket and you have to push that all the way in so it uses that for support so now it stays in here Today we're going to work on taking out the bracket underneath the headlight, the headlight bracket. Um, they provided it, uh, this is the right side, so like, something like that. So we're going to do that. Um, so how we're going to do that is we're going to remove this trim piece, uh, just a few clips, and then we're going to slide it up. And then there are going to be two 10 mil bolts, one here one there that holds the bracket in i'll show you more there's a little clip in there and then there's going to be one uh, right here in this hole we're going to go in loosen that and then on this side 
same thing you know loosen that and there are tabs here that sticks out so we, we have to be be mindful that we're not breaking those You can see here there's a there's a plastic tab that goes into that so we have to be really careful we gotta lift up and then here too underneath there's another one um, I might just take this off So I ended up taking off um, the trim, holding it down, because this part, this this trim now, kind of gets in the way for this part, as you can see. We can probably work around it, but it looks like they're only held on by some more bolts here, and then probably one in here. So this is what I was talking about. There's a little pressure relief over here. There's a little. Um, notch in here that falls into this little square so all you gotta do is put your finger down here and just pull it out and it'll come out from that groove and this is what i was talking about up here so this I'm just normal in there so what you want to do is to push this down lift that up same thing over here there's a little notch right there that goes into there so you just gotta lift that up and then the whole headlight should come out Okay guys, quick comparison. This is the new bracket that we're going to be putting on. So again, just this screw, or this is bolt, unscrew that, it's going to bolt to that right there. And then this part lines up with that. So you see here, there's a little notch that's going to fit with that smaller hole right there. So we're just going to line it up like so. And then everything lines up. And then what we're going to do is remember over here we have to make sure that that notch goes back in here and then we've got to be really mindful of the hole here and this hole right here. Now it's time to take this grill, move it to the new one. So what we're gonna do, it appears that we had to take this piece off first, which I think is only held on by one screw. And then there are some tabs in here that we have to um, take out in order for us to lift this out so it doesn't damage this. So we're gonna do that on both sides. And then down here, we're going to have uh, three screws that we had to take out on both sides and then all of these are just uh, clips that we just have to have to take out and then it should just pop right out. So after this screw has been taken out right here, there are tabs underneath that we have to release and then there's two right here and we should be able to take this piece off right here. So I have it here, so then I'm just gonna pry it up as I go. And I find it easier to use a flathead than a pry tool. There are these tabs right here. There's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then these are just held on by, by screws from earlier. All right, so I have it up right now. The bottom are secured already, um, but it keeps falling over. I can't do it facing down, so I pried it up like that for now and I think what I'm going to do is to screw in some screws back and hopefully that should help us uh, inside the wheels. So 
So put the screws in and then the tabs go in and then these three screws go back in on both sides as you can see. So the next step that we gotta do is to put this one there which again is going to clip onto these clips right here and then two in here and then we just gotta screw it in right there. Um, one thing I do want to note is that you don't want to over tighten uh, this this top screw right here because you over tighten it it's going to right there it's going to to start squeezing uh, the grill over over that actual bumper it was actually pretty bad so there's this side these two t clips don't fit all the way in so I'm just going to just leave it it looks pretty secure anyways as you can see so now we're going to install this piece. Push that in. Secure that. Same thing on this side. Everything fits really well. Just make sure that it lines up here and there are tabs in here um, that you want to make sure that it goes in. Same for the other side. Uh, if you're doing this alone, I recommend putting a few clips up here just to hold this in place while it doesn't fall down. And uh, be really careful with this because it can potentially uh, scratch up like on this side. Like that. Alright guys, so this is my old bumper. These these clips right here, we have to pull, take them off, and put that into the new one. Otherwise, you can't screw the screw the guard, the fender guard back in. All right, guys. So after you put those tabs back in, so I have a screw right there. Put a new clip there. Screw, screw. Now I just gotta do that on the other side. So I just put back the undercarriage part. So there are tabs from the lip that will go into these grooves so make sure that goes in as you can see it all goes in and then this flap covers it it goes underneath it's perfect same for this side as well and the holes line up pretty pretty well actually if you can see it's not bad so I do have to know so this one right there uh, fits perfectly in. Uh, this one does not match up, so you just leave that. Um, this hole, nothing. This hole, at least some nothing. And same thing for this side. All right, guys, the last piece of the puzzle, we're going to install this. Um, we have nine bolts or nine screws that is provided from the kit. Um, and then these screws right here, they line up with what we have right here. So these these inden indentions, they line up. So you just gotta go underneath, line them up, and then just screw it in from the bottom. All right, guys. So that's how you install it. Um, the holes are pre-drilled on the on the lip itself, but it's not pre-drilled on top. So you just gotta line it up and then just drill straight up.